So we all know that Melodyne is quite useful for seamlessly tuning vocals, right? But did you know that it's got some incredibly unique features that also help you shape the tone to your liking? Today we're gonna go over some of the ways that Melodyne helps you transform your bass sounds. Whenever you transfer any audio into Melodyne, it automatically analyzes the harmonic content of the source material, and then that analysis is what gives us some unique opportunities to shape the tone of the sound uh, that we're working with. So here we get to uh, visualize this analysis with the sound editor, uh, and you can access that by clicking this bar graph icon up at the top left. We can think about tone as the overall distribution of the harmonics in relation to the fundamental frequency. So even though you've got this bass sound, and this one, and this one, they're all playing the same note, but they sound different because of the differing levels and dynamics and distribution of the harmonics in relation to that fundamental frequency, which we can influence with Melodyne. So let's start by using the format tool in Melodyne to sort of shift those harmonics up and down, which you'll see drastically affects the sound that we're using it on. Um, I really like to use this with synth basses to sort of change the mood of the sound. So for example, like if we wanted to make our bass more aggressive, we can select all the notes and then drag the format up. Or like if we're working on a song that needs more of a mellow bass, we can drag the formats down to soften the character. And another fantastic use for this is to change the format and then layer it on top of the original to sort of thicken up the sound and emphasize certain harmonics that you want while keeping the main sound intact. Now, a simple way for us to influence the tone is with an EQ, which I think most people are familiar with. You take a band of frequencies and you increase the gain of that band of frequencies, regardless of the note being played. Now, Melodyne has an onboard multi-band EQ that's pretty unique in that you can control and adjust the gain of bands that are represented by notes instead of frequencies. So if you're playing an E major and you play the lowest note on a bass, which is an E, you can actually reduce the frequencies in the bass recording that correspond with notes that fall outside of anything that's in E major, right? Uh, so that could be like an F or a G. So all you do is take that note and you drag down each of these notes that is outside of the scale. And you can influence the tone that way to more closely correspond with whatever scale you're working in. But a different approach is for us to adjust the distribution of the harmonics in relation to the note being played, which is exactly what Melodyne excels at. So let's say that we've got like a, a bass sound that's a little bit too boomy, you know, that's got that low end kind of uh, lack of clarity. First thing we might do is grab an EQ and make sort of a deep incision here around 100 hertz or so. Now, unfortunately, that frequency band that causes the boominess is gonna change depending on the root of the note that we're playing. So that EQ might work all right for a few of the notes, but the boomy quality will be kind of frustrating to control throughout the entire performance. So here's just a chromatic bass recording. We can watch as the harmonics change and that boominess is gonna follow the notes all the way up instead of just the 100 hertz incision that we made. So what's clever about the harmonics display within the sound editor here is that we can adjust the specific harmonics that we're interested in. We can isolate them and we can change the gain however we see fit. So let's take a look at this live bass recording. If we turn up a couple of these harmonics, we can hear exactly what they contribute to the tone. So in this case, let's just, let's pull them down and, and see how nicely it cleans up our tone. On the other hand though, bass sounds tend to become more audible in the full mix at higher harmonics. So what we can do is actually just select a group of harmonics, like in the low mids, for example, and, and just raise them up a bit for a little more clarity across the performance here.
Now, if you look over here to the left, you can see that there's a bar dedicated to all the harmonics below the fundamental frequency. And if you just, if you reduce that or even remove it altogether, you can most of the time get a cleaner sound. And again, this is gonna be in relation to the note being played, which is really nice, instead of just having you know one specific incision at a specific frequency that doesn't necessarily follow the performance. So this is where we get to uh, have some fun and be really creative because Melodyne lets you apply envelopes to some of the controls that we have over the harmonic content of whatever we've transferred in. So let's just start with the dynamic slider at the top here, and, and we're just gonna adjust the way that the notes decay. And, and these icons here provide us with a nice little visual description of what we're actually doing to the sound here. So if we go this way, it'll sound a bit like this. And if we drag it back, it'll start to sound like this. So we can also direct Melodyne to apply a more specific envelope to all the notes as well, just using the amplitude section here. And if you do a lot of sound design, then you'll be pretty familiar with these controls, sort of similar to um, attack, decay, sustain, and release envelope. And I find this is uh, really useful when you want to control the transients of a bass. Uh, to be more or less prominent. So like maybe your live bass recording has a little bit too much slap or noise on the pickups. You can just soften the attack a little bit and, and reduce some of those noises. Or maybe you wanna do the opposite too. You could take like an electronic bass sound and just accentuate the attack a little bit more so it has a little bit more bite and can cut through the mix. Like I said, where you can start to be really creative is, is when you apply an envelope to the format of the sound, for example, so that it changes over time. So like, we could take this simple bass sound and transform it into a nice pluck by applying a higher format to the attack. Now for the sound design enthusiasts out there, you can also do the opposite and you get some pretty crazy results. So Melodyne is, is a really unique and powerful tool for shaping your sounds, not just like cosmetically or tuning wise, but also creatively as well. So have fun with those bass sounds and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.